Next on the list, we talk about this. This is courtesy of Hypebeats. I think a couple of people mentioned that I should speak about this, so I thought I would lend my little 2p, my little 10 cents for whatever it's worth. This is courtesy of Hypebeats, and it's the following. Vanda Supreme Parent Company, VF Corp, will also fire unvaccinated employees. Funny, isn't it, right? This rebellious brand um, built on the, off the back of skateboarding, built off the back of like you know kids expressing themselves in whatever which possible being unconventional in their lifestyle choices and in what they do in what they wear um live free like live live free die young all this sort of ball are now deciding to fire people man like vf corp man like oh yeah, yeah. anyway continue um according to reports van supreme and timberland and the north face camp company parent company vf corp will also fire unvaccinated employees the news comes after the word of nike reportedly firing some unvaccinated corporate employees this weekend vf corp employees were notified via email that soon as june january 31st 2022 unvaccinated persons will be terminated without severance that is absolute bullshit absolute bullshit it really really is especially if it's something that hasn't been worked into your contract prior to starting there where they had a stipulation that you know um if some act of god happened or whatever they could have the reins to basically fire you that's really 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 bad and i think in general especially when you think about us being able to have especially if you work in these kind of companies right you probably do have the opportunity to more likely than not most of your work gets conducted or is done via a laptop or some sort of computer so you do have the option if you're not vaccinated to just work from home permanently right um obviously it might impact your ability to maybe you know get a promotion or to socialize with people that you work with or whatever whatever kind of negative come with just being at home that's going to happen to you and i'd be willing people i'd be i'd, I'd assume people would be willing to take that risk or to be able to or they'd be open to that to be one of the consequences of them working from home but telling people that they go work from home but then also telling them that they must get vaccinated if they want to come and work in the office, even though you're letting them work from home, is ridiculous. I don't want to say it's closer to discrimination, I just say it's ridiculous. It really, really is ridiculous. Like we're suddenly now changing um, our our kind of employment criteria um, based on this new phenomenon that's basically come about with the pandemic. And we're changing everything that we do about it. And we're essentially, you know, severely damaging people's abilities to basically keep the lights on and feed their family, which I think isn't something that you should be willy nilly kind of threatening people with. I don't think that's just, maybe there's a con, there's a, some middle ground that could be reached where maybe, you know, for the unvaccinated folk, there's a place that they can go to in terms of working or if they want, if they need to have like hands on meetings or whatnot. Yeah. Or whatever. There's something that could be worked out, but in general, especially if you can work from home, an employer telling you that hey you can work from home but if you do want to come in on the rare occasion you have to get vaccinated actually scrap that you have to get vaccinated even though we're not going to require you to be in the office you know more than a week per year that's insane really really is insane unless of course these companies are the ones that are like no there is no such thing as work from home you're all going to work in the office i don't think that's the case i think most companies are allowing the employee even the most strictest of companies are allowing people to work from home if you obviously use the laptop and the computer it continues here it says it is important to note that back in october an internal email warned that beginning january the 1st 2022 all office-based u.s employees would need to be vaccinated against covid19 unless an approved medical exemption was secured by january 1st 2022 they would be terminated without severance the terminated without severance is the brutal bit even if you again let's let's give them any sort of slack let's just say it's your place it's your business you can decide who works and who doesn't okay no problem so you decide now based on the information you have available that you know you don't want unvaccinated people in your office cool you fire them but fire them without severance because they decide to not get a vaccine that's um that basically isn't mandatory it's not like um it's not something that you have to get it's something that people are encouraging you to get but it's not something you have to get in order to basically be um a valid citizen do you know i mean that's not obviously the world that we live in at the moment so i think that's really heinous i really really do think so that's really heinous and really unnecessarily cruel you're already terminating people um you know employment because they're not getting a vaccine the last thing you should be doing is eliminating any possibility for them to get any kind of cushion that can support them in between the time that they're looking for a job i think that's disgusting in my opinion it says the employees left their van shoes and handwritten notes showing their thoughts on the matter in the courtyard of the office complex associates who are unable to receive vaccine due to medical reasons sincerely hold religious belief or other exemptions provided by the state or local can request an accommodation or an exemption wrote vf senior director of corporate affairs colin wheeler that colin wheeler sounds like he talks the most shit 
anyone that's got that sort of title and puts it in their signature or throws around their business card they're definitely someone that everyone hates so imagine receiving an email of him telling you that you know you basically banged to rights and you've got an hour to clear your locker or something you'd be so pissed um it says if an associate does not have proof duh, duh, duh. Uh, look at the how this this is awful. Is it? Look at this. Let's look at the hear this paragraph. If an associate does not have proof of an accommodation um, by January first, they will be prevented from accessing our facilities <laughs> and will be required to work from home. Or they consult their manager on next steps. If by January thirty first they have not received or approved accommodation, they will be separated from the company and will not receive severance. Separated. So the word separation is used is that used twice or is that used once there they're prevented from access as well and required to work from home bloody you're separated you know i love that new kind of business office speak where it's, it's like do you remember before when it before, instead of saying fire they would say let go what's the other thing that they used to say um uh moved on some i don't know there's, there's all these terms that they use just to not say you got fired and now in terms of saying that they're basically firing you not to say it they say separated now bloody hell the requirement currently only affects vf corp office based u.s employees but the next phase in spring will also apply to other u.s associates it's currently unclear if retail employees will also be affected of course they will um the supreme court already ruled the split decision regarding the change of the mate no nothing good has come out of that vf corp um acquisition or investment into supreme other than their new retail locations especially in places you know that aren't the main sort of like cultural streetwear hubs like places in italy and whatnot but for the most part nothing good has come out of that collaboration nothing as good has come out of that investment nothing even in terms of the products i'm a fucking massive supreme fanboy you won't find a bigger one than me like I said, I fanboyed out when I met James Jebbia, you know, more than a decade ago. I've got stuff in my collection from like 97. I bought many magazines for featuring Supreme stuff. I've got zines all over the guys, Wazoo. You know, I was a bit of an Aaron Bondera fanboy because of his connection with Supreme. Like I'm, I'm a fan Supreme, number one. And I always, I'm the kind of guy that can find something or find a few items for every collection that I'll be crying and wanking over in my room um because it's all sold out and it's available for triple the price on StockX. so i'm always going to say good things about them but let's not deny vf corp's investment into supreme has been basically the signal of the end if the end was the louis vuitton collab or maybe some other things were happening between that people would thought okay this is the end and this kind of marks the shift you know maybe some could even say when brendan babjan left to set up noah or to kind of restart noah again that was maybe signal the end of um, Supreme because he was basically one of the better designers there. And if you look at the, the stuff that he puts out for Noah, especially some of the outerwear, and look at the stuff that they do at Supreme, especially the excessive. Now, this has definitely been a shift. It's maybe from like 2015 or 2017 onwards, maybe 2014 even before that, where most of the coats that I have that were prior to those years had like little pull tabs or little labels off the side of the pocket that said Supreme on it. And that was about it. Or maybe the badge had something on it. But nowadays you'd have the hood where the seamers have it you'd have a logo on the side in contrast white screen printed on there loads of big branded stuff that just kind of screams you know cheap and tasteless and um, kind of shouting in your face and again it's not cheap and you know for sure you, you know there's baseball caps for supremo so 50 dollars for fuck's sake but that was definitely a shift that i saw okay maybe this thing is going is basically going to end soon but credit to them also they have the ability to somehow always kind of reinvent themselves every season. So even when you think it's over, it's never really over. So that's something they've always always done that's pretty well. But I think stuff like this, and of course the, you know, people just maybe not being as keen on the products as they were previously in the past, is definitely going to rub people up the wrong way. And again, I just think it's grossly unfair to be like, hey, it's one thing to say to people, you know, come work here because you're not vaccinated. It's gross and it's disgusting and I hate it. But then to then tell them they're not going to get any severance um for a decision that they are allowed to take even though you don't agree with it it's not something that they sort of like you know um you know if you don't do this you basically don't get a chance to live sort of thing i just think it's heinous i really do think it's heinous and it's way 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 over the top and unnecessary but you know it's way outside my pay grade i don't know maybe it's a bit different if you have a, a, an actual business that you run yourself it maybe can get a little bit difficult in terms of understanding what's the right way to go about things in it but um what can you do what can you do?